Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, we are in a different location, different setup, and that is because I am now in Manchester. Thank you so much for allowing me. I know I was uploading, but that was pre-recorded videos. Thank you so much for allowing me a little bit of a time to um, adjust. I have been in Manchester for three days, I think, three days. Um, it's a big adjustment. It's very, a lot. Um, but I have my streaming setup back up. My amazing friend, uh, Suha built it for me. So thank you so much to Suha for allowing me to be able to stream tonight. Cause if I was building this shit myself, I would see you by Christmas. So the first thing that we're going to do is I saw that Tana, Trisha and Jeff were making the news all of them together and it was happening whenever i was in the process of moving so i and i had none of my setup so i couldn't cover it but now i want to cover it so they all went on each other's podcast right and they talked about the history together and i'm very 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 intrigued to see what they talk about i've seen tiktoks i have not seen the video so trisha and jeff infamously hate each other there was an infamous starbucks event if you know you know um and you know trisha and tana are in this new era where they're very close and they go on each other's podcasts and tana and jeff are very much so close friends and close business partners so it kind of made sense that trisha would be involved again in the world um but before they got involved in the world again they had to hash out a little bit of the tension um that they had pre-existing with both members of them were in the vlog squad and all right, let's get into it. Now, before we get into it, please go subscribe to my second channel. Because I am now back filming content, I will be posting my moving vlog. I will be posting all of my new vlogs while I'm here in Manchester. I really don't know that many people. I think I know two people in Manchester. One of them includes my friend Suha. So I'm going to spend a lot of time talking to the camera instead of people. Um, so if you want to come hang out, it will be my second channel pinned down below. Tandy Lion, thank you so much. Oh my God, chat are being so sweet today. All right, let's get to it. So I've skipped in to when they start talking about vlog squad and their issues i don't know how long of this we're gonna watch i'm here for the ride we are just going to watch when they are talking about their beef because for someone who like myself who watched all of this fighting go down and watched trisha expose jeff and then years later you know jeff came on the frenemies podcast which was that infamous you know okay ethan moment where jeff was defending david and now all of it's changed i'm very i'm just very intrigued to see what's going on i'm gonna be honest all right let's get into it whoa sorry it's sped up really quick all right let's not do that let's do 1.25 are you ready are you ready i watched your guys' episode and, and i came up you spoke very nicely and you said you would consider having me on and i've always thought about reaching out to you because our last like even when i can't believe this is our first video in manchester you guys start of a new era we're gonna be sitting here on our asses for the next 12 months. That's my contract. Gonna like text you? You just scroll up a little bit. Tana and that damn vape. Mine's not there anymore. I didn't even want to look because I was just like cringing at it. Like, damn. Well, this... I think the last word is you threatening me. Be like, you're a little rat and I'm gonna like get you a rat. Or something. <laughs> well, I, don't date. Look, things have changed. Seriously. We're here. We're friends now. Look, we, we stopped this. And and I want to get that out of the way. Like, look, there's a reason why I'm here. You've always spoke, like, you've had my back. You know, you spoke the truth. And I used to think you were batshit crazy. And, you know, that's just I was. that's just how it is with that group. When you have somebody that's exiled, it's like, oh, they're batshit. That's why they need it's to get crazy. out of here. That they crazy. still like that's still a I know, thing it's, too, it's, you know? It's, it's, wild, it's so like childish and But they're not a thing anymore. They're dissipated, right? No one no one talks about they're not around. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even say the name because it's like nobody even knows, but Right, we'll bleep out uh, um I'll bleep out vlogs. I just bleep, bleep. Yeah, yeah, I don't really care, but I'm you, the same way. you not vlogs. Beep. This is interesting. I was looking into this actually whenever I was driving up here in in the car. Um, I had a moment where I knew that this was going down, but I couldn't watch the podcast. But I was looking into all the members of the vlog squad. Um, I'm pretty sure Carly followed me on Instagram. Hey, hi, um, shout out Carly. Um, and I was kind of looking up, they really aren't an existing thing anymore. All the members of the vlog squad really do just kind of work individually now, which was kind of not the ecosystem of why the vlog squad was popular. It was them all being together, but they all just kind of just post on Snapchat now, which is so obnoxious. Oh my God. Do not get me started on those Snapchat fucking the, the creators that are being paid to go on Snapchat and then their thumbnail is like something that is so shocking. Fucking Jojo did it as well. I'm pregnant! And you click on it and it's like, don't get me started. This Snapchat era. You just, you know, like, you just spoke the truth. You know, you had something that you knew that was a big secret that I was keeping from everybody and not like I was paid off to keep this. The excavator. Trisha knew that it had happened. And I think Trisha knew it had happened because she was on the snark reddits of the vlog squad. I may be wrong in that, but I think that, that was the reason. So then when Jeff came on to defend David on Frenemies, Trisha asked him about it. 
and that kind of started crumbling, you know, the David Dobrik is the greatest thing. I just wanted to keep it a secret because I was embarrassed. But that story needed to come out. And if not, I'd be in such a worse spot now. Like even, you know, this guy made his episode where he blamed the shit on me and I saw his true colors and that happened like right at the end of the statute of limitations to even do anything to take action and to get like rightfully, you know, we're fighting it out in court right now. But, you know, to get that, like I needed that. And that was because of you. You opened my eyes or I. You opened my (laughs) eyes. God, not a great analogy. Isn't it crazy to think that they are fighting this out in court right now? I feel like I don't hear that much about David Dobrik anymore, but it's crazy to think that there's fucking loss that's going on behind the scenes. Right now, but yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I just was, I was shocked. I'm still, to this day, it's the most, even watching all this. One thing I think is really sweet is, I don't know if anyone just picked up on that moment. Tana or Trisha goes, oh, but your eye looks really great. And Jeff has just taken off his sunglasses. Now I know that he keeps them on a lot. Um, Just probably out of comfortability or a little bit of shyness and not knowing how they look. But it's, Kind of sweet that when Trisha complimented it, he t- he took them off. Great. Thank I didn't you. know how you were going to look in person because I haven't seen you. You know, I didn't know. I like, I don't what know. would you say if it didn't? <laughs> I, don't know, I wouldn't say anything, but it looks great. It looks yeah. amazing. So Thank your you. surgeries look great. No, when that all happened, and like still, I'm still sh- so shocked that he's just like, fine. Like, get it. everyone just loves him. Calling you a clout chaser. I'm just like, this person, like, watching that accident is, is like. Is that true? I don't I don't see that. What? I don't really follow anything. No, I think you had said. I watched a podcast where you said he, you, that someone said you were doing this for clout or something. Uh, he did. He said that. Oh, so he did. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah. why I was like, wait, how? How did this get flipped on you? Because Why the like- fuck did David Dobrik nearly end Jeff Wittick's life? And then when Jeff Wittick talks about it, it's, oh, you're doing this for Clyde. Motherfucker! What? One clear victim and, like, victimizer, it's you and David. Like, how how is it just, like, swept under the rug? Like, no one talks about it. Like, it's not a thing. I did keep a lot of things quiet. You know, like, I didn't, at, at first we were boys, so I, I wanted to, you know, have his back. But when I realized, like, oh. Wow, the surgeries do look good, right? Jeff just looks to me now how Jeff looked before. I can't even imagine the amount of surgeries and the amount of recovery and stuff, but he looks fucking great. He really does. Oh, shit. In this documentary with Casey, he's blaming me for this shit. He's blaming the victim, the, the other, the girl, you know, yeah. that was essayed by Dom. Blame, you know, he's just like coming off like, yeah, no, people just did this for attention. I'm like, how delusional are you? But that's what this game does. People get such an inflated ego from social media that they think that they are on a higher level than other people. And I think he's just believing his own lies. And people around him know the truth. You know, like, I know they can't fucking... Uh, live with those feelings they're probably fucking thinking about it all night like i knew it i picked the wrong side you know <sighs> who i'm talking about peak victim blaming is saying someone is talking about near-death experiences clout chasing like what <laughs> no, exactly. do you not talk to any of those people that were there at that day um n- no not really like I'll- it's also so deranged that jeff wittick had this happen to him and then he lost all of his friends as opposed to the one who did it to him. I saw Matt King in the gym. He was nice. He was like, I'll come on the pod. He, you know, that, no, that, he went that was cool. He, he said it, ever. but he said he would. I, I respect that if he said he would. I, I didn't follow up, but maybe I will. Matt has been the nicest one of the group. I always like Matt. He's yeah, really nice. He, yeah. He's a, a smarter one. Um, <laughs> and Mike Sheffer, I, I hung out with him recently. Oh, I don't even know him. When did he come in? Must he, have been after me. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> okay. I think so. He wasn't like a main character. It's also crazy to think Trisha Paytas was... Oh, I think they're going to say what I was going to say. It's so crazy, number one, Trisha was in the vlog squad, but what he just said there, he wasn't a main character. What is this? About the vlog squad? I think they're literally going to make this point too, but... Oh, it's like real life, but like you, it, we're like characters. Like people are like characters in this like saga. It's like so crazy. Yeah, like, someone was yeah. asking me about that last night at dinner. They were like, you were good friends with David. And I was like, I, like I was around him a lot, but like genuinely that's what it felt like. I was like a character. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it's like there was never once like a how's your day or anything like that or, you know. Yeah, it was never re- like real, you know, between any of them. They know the deal. They know with how you it is. you too? You don't think it was I real? I also saw Jason in the gym. Um, did we not say his name either? I don't know. We can bleep it. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. No, I don't care. <laughs> what did you say? Creepy old man before. Yeah, you're going to use that term. I saw him in the gym. I really never think about him. He does not exist, but we yeah, can talk about him. I saw him at the gym and he's just like, he came up and he was like, you know. Not the Trisha Jason lore. Nice and stuff like that. And I'm just like, you know, I'll be civil back, you know, because like he wasn't even there that day. He left. He went to go to the bathroom or something. Fucking Tana posing with the just Trish water. <laughs> Like that. He had like a stomach problem, so he wasn't. He didn't even see it go down. But I just told him, I was like, you know how it is. The kid's fucking stunted. He'll never believe anything that he did anything. You said wrong that in person. Mm-hmm. What did he say? Yeah. He agreed. It's like yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. Damn, so fake though. I hate that. I hate when like they agree. But it's like I always say this. You can like love someone and be friends with someone, but still admit they did something effed up. Like you don't have to be defending him. Being like, like I remember watching that episode of Views and then like talking about it and being like, Jeff wanted to do it. We have the DMs. Like that he was, was a like, real podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, like, where, yeah. that's when I was that. like, oh, okay, so this is what he's gonna spread. This is what he's gonna try to do. Okay, so I'm happy that you put out everything. At 
the time I was like terrified of it. I was like, how the fuck is she doing this to me? She's ruining my life. But really deep down inside you were giving me a push in the right direction. Well, I'm glad because sometimes, you know, sometimes I do it like out of anger, especially back then. I just like wanted, I was just so upset that they got away with so much stuff. Yeah. And then I was just like, this is something insane. And I said that like in 2018, I was like, something serious is going to happen. Someone's going to die. And it's like, whatever. And then like, I get tagged in edits. And then it's like the, green, the song starts playing, the drop comes and I'm like swinging around. Oh my God. I mean, that is also something that is crazy that Trisha said. Trisha said in a video where she's like crying and she's like, you know, the vlog squad are so fucked up and one day something's going to happen where someone gets killed or someone gets really injured. And then look at the Jeff situation. Like she was a hundred percent onto something, but she was in that environment. So, I mean, who else is going to know about something other than someone who's directly involved in the environment, right? Uh, no, but that's what's crazy. It's like on video. It's like, there's no, there's no clear thing than like David driving this and you just like, literally almost like being decapitated like it's insane yeah. that people like even argue like what is the argument that it wouldn't be his fault i asked him to do it before hey can you fucking you know spin me super fast and, like fucking sl no, like i don't know what they thought that it, that would be believed or whatever but it's just like there's still stuff that i can't wait to say but i want to have like a i want to have like a johnny depp amber heard live stream trial i want to hold things for that too because there's a lot of like criminal <laughs> acts that will put people you want to be a fucking citizen and you're doing the shit that people don't even know about it. I can't wait. I can't do it here right now because there's still yeah. like, stuff going on and I even, you know, I have a lot of people helping me on my case it's and better, stuff like that. It's so better to do it that way. Yeah, yeah, they're like, absolutely don't talk about it. You're not supposed to do social media even. They're like, don't do social media but I was like, you know what, that, this is what I care about. This is what I do. Not even. It's also crazy as well that whenever Jeff is, you know, in a legal battle with David, you know, he's being told, don't do social media, don't do this, whatever and it's like, this is his job at the same time. Like, he didn't, he almost lost his life and now he kind of has to like not do his job, which is then lose income. But he already lost income whenever he wasn't working because of everything happening. And then he had to pay for surgeries that David didn't pay for. And it's like, oh, my God. For the money. So I'm going to continue doing this. Yeah. That I need to get what I need from that. So, you know, I'm going to keep going. Well, it's like your story was made public, whether you wanted to or not. It's like made public. The video was circulating before you ever said anything about it. That's how I found out. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was already out there. So I think talking about it's fine. And I think you're doing the right thing because so many people on social media just like it just becomes a shitstorm and nothing gets done about it. And I'm just like, why don't people like press charges and do stuff? Because some people are criminal. Like, I don't believe in like cancel culture, but the people who do like criminal acts and like actually like literally like almost like and other things. I mean, they did a ton of criminal acts. They've done a ton of stuff. And I've been to this place now where I'm like, it's not my place to say. Or like the girls with the alcohol or whatever. You know, for so long, I was like, well, I don't want to say it until like someone else say, like tells their story but i'll corroborate it all day long you know i know other shit that happened but it's like not my story to tell and if someone's not ready to tell it then it's like you can't force it you know where was this energy back when they <laughs> was on the show and you're like didn't you get your fucking eye popped out by a crane by i him? know i know i was so angry i was so angry i can never go back and watch that i, that was I can't like, either that was no i'm sorry seriously was your 9 yeah. <laughs> yeah. no 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 but, um, <laughs> 9 11 or your eyes? <laughs> Both. Oh my god, that's our first time saying no 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 well you want to talk about 9 11 in manchester Congratulations, everyone. This is our first time saying that. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. It's our first time saying that. Everyone's saying the stream is lagging for them. I'm sorry. I have it loaded up on my thing right now, and I'm, I'm, it's kind of working for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's working for me right now. Um, I apologize if it is. Um, I apologize. Um, everything's working on my end, but I apologize if it is um, very laggy. Um, anyways. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. Well. Well. <laughs> Love yeah. it. Yeah, but no, no I'm, I'm sorry that. for that. Also, I just bagged my tickets for Mariah in New York. Anyone going to New York? Her Mariah show? Madison Square Garden, very excited. Don't be. I'm, I'm telling you, thank you. Not many people were riding for me, and I was sticking to my friends. I was sticking to that group, and I was like, no, no, we're going to make things right. We're going to make things right. And then you guys put it out there, and then we got into back and forth, and I, I had a realization. I was like, wait, there's a victim, a real victim here, this girl who didn't want to be spoken about. She didn't want to be known. She wanted to be anonymous. And she came out and said her thing, and everybody else was like, she's a liar. She's just doing this for clout. And I realized they were doing that to me too. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, there's a pattern here. Mm -hmm. You are going through shit. They're like, oh, she's bad. She's just crazy. You know, she's in the hospital, mental house. You weren't helping the case because you actually mm -hmm. did get 5150'd. Yeah. And, and like, you know, even me, I'm like, wow, maybe she is just crazy. You know? Okay, by the way, if the stream is lagging or crashing or anything, I really do apologize. I'm still trying to get my Wi-Fi set up and stuff. I apologize. I've always yeah. said, like... I mean, at least in my opinion, it's like someone could be going through some stuff and going to be pushed whatever, to that. that doesn't mean you're you know, not speaking. Like there's times that. where like yes. I feel like I've been pushed to this by this crazy life. You know, people can't really understand unless they're in your shoes. So yeah, ultimately, like I take responsibility for it. But that whole year that I was in that group, you know, I <coughs> from 2017 to 2019 when I didn't have mental health, I never did it. It's also really crazy to think as well that if Trisha had not said to Jeff during the frenemies 
thing, you know, well, didn't David just nearly end your life? What happened to your eye? Because Jeff was not obviously wanting or, or willing really to talk about it until that moment. And it's crazy to think that, you know, Trisha, you know, overstepped the boundary, of course. But if Trisha had not have said that, Jeff is admitting that Jeff was not willing to speak up against David. And it's like, Trisha's moment of anger and hating the vlog squad and trying to ruin them really did save Jeff's life, basically, in the, the grand scheme of things, of, of some sort of justice with David Dobrik. For someone who, by the way, gets away with everything, but hopefully not for long. Any drugs. They always would say, oh, she was always on drugs. I was like, I never took, I didn't took a sleeping pill. I took nothing. I never drank, like, nothing. I never took any drugs that time. The only time I started doing drugs was after all that happened. Yeah. You know? And so, and to I guess, numb the pain. Yeah. So, yeah. of course, yeah. I mean, yeah. but there's, they also made a Wait, didn't Trisha say that she, like, did meth and drove into Jason Nash's house? Wait, was that not that era as well? Or was that after? But I have heard that she's gone back on that story. So, I don't know what to believe with that story. Does she still say that happened? I mean, she used to say that all the time, right? She, like, got high on math and, and drove into his house. But I'm pretty sure I've seen, like, threads where she says that didn't happen. So, mm, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> bunch of stories about me that I found out later on weren't true, but they were told to me. Like, this happened, you did this, you did this. Oh, you were high, you didn't know. So I'm oh, okay, well... She's saying that she was told then that she got high on meth and drove into his house, I guess. Like, well, take responsibility for it. Like, shit, I don't want this That's out crazy. there. Gaslighting. I didn't even know what gaslighting means. I, she, she had to teach me. I didn't either. She was like, you were being gaslighted. This person's gaslighting. And I'm like, oh, shit, now I'm using that word. No, it's the gas. <laughs> I'm saying, I think gaslighting's like over you. Jason and David told her it happened. She said she was blacked out. Okay. But I, there was so many instances where like you did this, so own up to it before we like go to the police. But I'm like, okay, if I really did this, there would be a police report. That somebody, there would be news reports about this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. crashing into someone's house. I'm yeah. like, that would be. All they gaslit her into believing it. Right. Jesus. What the sure fuck? That, like, yeah. happen, you know. Yeah. You'd but remember. <laughs> I definitely remember. I remember the craziest stuff when I was on meth. Like I remember that was my year of it. I remember all of it. You know what I mean? So um, a lot of it, not all of it. So I don't know. It's kind of strange. Why did you? stand by David like after that accident were you just like okay it was just like an accident like you, you were friends I'm a very loyal person you know and I know people make mistakes and at the time I was like oh he just made a mistake you know but mm -hmm. deep down inside we all know how he really is and he's never happy with a shot until he gets what he wants where he like fucking switches it up and does like an extra thing all this for YouTube you know what I mean like we're not talking about like a Netflix production or a CBS production we're talking about a fucking YouTube video David Dobrik's willing to like end lives over a fucking YouTube vlog what the fuck you know, and they time and place, and you did it at YouTube. And he wasn't happy, so when I got on there, I didn't realize he had a different motive. He wanted to go fast, fling me off, you know, like some shit like that. So you didn't know. He didn't no, say and, and at the time, like afterwards, I was like, well, it's a fucking accident. Accidents happen. I didn't realize how hurt I was. How I didn't realize I was going to live with these injuries. You know, I, I thought I, I would heal up like a black eye. I've been jumped before. I had my face smashed up where it looked worse than that situation. Well, not really, but close. You know, I, I was just like, this will heal up. I'll have some scars, but it is what it is. Whatever, you know. And it wasn't until the next day, when or a few days later, when I got out of the hospital, and he gets a phone call from Courtney Kardashian, and he was like, look at what this guy did. Like, I was like, what I fucking did, and I didn't say anything. I, I bit my tongue at that. Court what the fuck's Courtney Kardashian doing? What the fuck's Courtney Kardashian doing? And also, I'm processing all Courtney? of this. You know, my life has changed. What? Uh, my life has changed. I live with this shit. Nobody else. Where'd that come from? So when I kind of like when I saw that that's how he was gonna play it off, I was like, oh, so he's not gonna take responsibility for this shit. He's gonna try to blame me, and I'm the one in the clip that if that video ever comes out, I look like an idiot because it looks like I signed up to do this shit. Like, what the fuck? If I saw that, I'd be like, yeah, what the fuck? What are you thinking? You know? Yeah, but even if you did sign. Wait, I I disagree with Jeff there. I know he's trying to like play both sides, probably very legally speaking here. But even if Jeff agreed to do a stunt that does not evade the fact that david dobrik took the stunt too far to get the greatest shot you know what i mean i could i'm trying to find an analogy um i feel like this is like too extreme of an analogy but like i mean that is too extreme of an analogy actually um okay like we okay I'm not going to say that. But, like, if we agree to do, like, a prank or something, right, and we do the prank, but in the moment we do the prank, but you just make it more extreme, that is not what I signed up for.
if, even if it was your idea, all this stuff like that, like Jackass, like he should have had like insurance, paramedics, someone driving it, not him. I didn't yeah, as well. If, Trish is making a good point. If you're doing all these big extravagant stunts that you're crediting yourself on this YouTube production, then you got to carry out the right things to be able to do them. He was driving it at the time. Like, I saw the thing, and I just thought it was, like, an excavator person driving it. Like, I had no idea it was David. I'm like, <laughs> why? Like, yeah. why on earth? Yeah, um, he was operating the, the machine with one hand and holding a camera with the other, focusing on the shot. Like, what? There's no universe where David Dobrik is not at fault for what happened here. Would he do that? Like, honestly, he's... In my opinion, and I'm not a medical professional, I think he's a psychopath. Like, that's crazy. Like, who would yeah, ever do that? Yeah, we were just listening to a song on the way here. If, if, what's, the, what's the lyrics, Tana? What's the lyrics? How does it go? If everyone else around you is crazy, you're the one that's insane. Yeah. You know, Jay-Z. He's always right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you have the New York, you have the LA. That's kind of mm -hmm. controversial right here. I like Jay-Z and Beyonce right here on YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I think it's the Courtney Kardashian thing. Like he just called her and she was like with like Rain Disick and Mason, and he was like, "Look at his." I don't know if she FaceTime. I, I was out of it. I was on drugs and shit. But I just you remember. You think you're making this up right now? <laughs> I'm fucking doing this. Were you gaslit? <laughs> no, I'm no, just no, Loki no. and I, off. I'm sitting here. I'm like, "But well, you wanted it, right?" Like, yeah. I just like. <laughs> but I, I remember that happening, and then like you know we went back to the Airbnb, and they stayed there. Like we we're waiting until I was able to travel back to LA, and. I just started thinking about it. I started like feeling things out and then we took a drive together and I was like, yo, look, that's not how it's going to go. Like, I won't sue you. 10 out of 10 people would, but I'm not gonna. Just don't fucking try to do shit like that, you know? Yeah. And I guess he That's the thing as well. David Dobrik was trying so hard to clean up his image that it fucked. I just, you know, fucked, like, Jeff, I remember from the start, said that publicly and privately. Well, that's what we were told, where he was like, David, I'm not going to sue you, but cover my medical bills. And allegedly, we're told David refused to even do that. But not only that, allegedly, David was, you know, painting Jeff like to be the bad guy in the vlog squad. So it's like, how did Jeff lose in every retrospect here? And David expect no consequences. And twisted it in the podcast. It's like, oh, it was Jeff's idea. You know, he wanted, that's what he said to me in the car was don't ever tell anybody that I asked you to do this. You know, you fucking oh delusional. Gosh. You know, and like the shit in the, in the hospital when he was the only one allowed in because it was COVID time. Like he screen recorded the, the DMs. I sent him a meme of an excavator before that. And he like screen, screen recorded that and put it in the podcast. Like, look, he had sent me this. Like, yo, you sick fuck. You're in there. I'm thinking that oh. you're the one that cares about me that I bring you in and you're in there wiping the fingerprints off the gun. Like already making an oh alibi for yourself gosh. and making evidence. Like from day one, they had a plan. And I could explain that to you. Like that's the stuff that I want to leave out from the law. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's wild. When it comes out, I hope it does. You know, I hope it does come but out. But is the status of the lawsuit now? Can you like say that or no? Yeah, he tried to uh, just um, reject it, dismiss, dismiss it. Yeah, he tried to get it dismissed. David Dober tried to dismiss the lawsuit of him almost ending his friend's life for a fucking vlog? Oh, please. Oh, please. Jesus Christ. That is. That's. That's so fucking. What? Twice. The first one was you said I was doing it for clout. The second one <gasps> said I was his employee and I can't sue because I worked for him, which but is that insane. Could be even more actually because no, you're no, 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 no. nobody, ever, nobody was ever getting paid. The goal was yeah, uh, you just all film together and you get exposure. You build your own. Tana and that fucking you blue vape. Stupid shit. Maybe you'll get a car. Oh my, you know? Yeah. Right. Oh my god. I was trying for the car. It's a crazy. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at us I mean, now. Everyone fell off but us. We're the only ones doing shit. We're the only ones that still have a career that could actually make money ourselves. That you know? is very true. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to make sure someone else is happy to make sure that we're still going to eat the next day. That's you know? true. Well, yeah. I think he also like he probably realized at some point that he fucked up by bringing on people with their own platforms, like Morse or who were, would go on to make their own platforms, like a Todd or a, you know, people who are just right under his wing, whereas like Trisha had her own YouTube channel. I mean, who's keeping up with Todd from the vlog squad? No shade. No shade, honestly. No shade. couldn't do that as easily, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Well, that's why I think, yeah, they don't, I don't, I don't know why any of them are doing that. I mean, I don't, they were all nice. Those people, I guess, were fine, but they all, like when Scott made the video defending David, being like, he's such a nice guy. Oh my God, Scott's awful video. Holy shit, what an era that was. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, wait, I bumped into Liza at Fashion Week in New York. Liza Koji! That's a name I haven't heard in a while. What the fuck? How's Liza Koji doing these days? Wow, blast from the past. Talk about a career in free fall. Wow, every opportunity, but just not funny at all. God. Yeah, and she's so sweet and nice. Yes. And I'm like, it's again, it's like, how the fuck were you mixed up in this? And she feels the same way. And we had a little conversation. I was just saying, like, let's, like, we could talk for hours and hours. No podcast, nothing. Yes. Like, that's just, I mean, what do we, what do we talk about? I think time? you should fuck Liza. <laughs> like you know I, what I mean like an she, eye for a yeah, girlfriend she, she's, <laughs> that would be crazy not eye for a girlfriend she's, she's very high end though she's very like she's bougie funny, now she's talented yeah. she's, she's so bougie funny, yeah, she uh, funny. Uh, I don't know she about funny 
much. She made that whole crew. People sometimes I'll see comments are like, oh, how could you say this? Like, didn't he give you a career? I gave him his career. Liza gave him his career. You yeah. know, that's my response. Not everybody I gave put his career. Him on. Yeah. Think about it. You know, like you take all the friends out. Who is the? You know, what are people watching for? Because you're clever editing. Yeah, you're a good editor. Yeah. I mean, that's actually a good point. Liza really did give David the platform. Never thought about it like that. Okay, Jeff. I see you. Shady. Stick to that. Stop yeah. trying to drive cranes. Stop trying to do other shit. It's not for you. You know, Liza, I told her, I was like, yeah, I kind of slipped up and I was like, yeah, we're all drinking the Kool-Aid. But actually, she made the Kool-Aid. She actually was the one who made the Kool-Aid that David got a hold of. And then he started spreading out and Liza took off. Yeah, I know. It was really sad. Liza left like right before, like right when I was in there. I just started like, and I was like, oh, I love her. Everyone's so nice and sweet. And then it became so like dark and heavy and the whole thing became really dark. And David yeah. was just always just cold. He's just like a cold person. That's why I didn't know if you ever felt a real friendship from him because I know I didn't. It was definitely always just. Um, no, but there were definitely real friendships there. You know, okay, like, so it I was real for you. Like, yeah, um, you know, Todd was my boy, Jason was my boy, you know, I had, I had real friends there, you know, so that's why it was tough, like, losing all those real friends, and then that's why I was, like, really saying, I was really happy, you know, grateful that I found, you know, her, and I also have Mike, I got, you know, I have different friends that Mike I don't want to say, like, impulsive, because you're, you're probably... I don't hate them, they're I not my vibe, I don't people, them. People, you know... They're not meant for me, obviously. <laughs> they seem cool, I think Logan's cool, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I, I relate to them more, you know, they're, they're about fighting and stuff like that, they're down to go get in the ring, and, uh, you know, I respect them. The just no, are gonna love <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah, I could I could respect that about them, you know? They're more my speed. Yeah, I get you. You're kind of bro-y. So. Yeah. I also feel really bad for Jeff that because he's in a court of law right now as well, that he has to be careful what he talks about. And it's like David Dobrik is fully silent right now except for posting his shitty-ass Snapchats. And it's like... Whatever. Which is like, what I'm is trying to change it. For this all happening to Jeff and he still has to watch what he says is so fucked up. Without Tana, you're like, you're a rat, I'm going to come find you. And with Tana, you're like, oh, listen thank you so Lana much. We're listening to Lana Del Rey on the way here. Not worse so Lana Del Rey. The other woman. I did find out that that is an Alana Del Rey original. I, we need to have a baby at the same time. The way I'm talking about it, like we're going to get our nails done. Like, yes. just like we need to have matching nails. But, but I feel like so you're for talking real. about it, so it might be a real thing. I, I would never push it on anyone, but since you're already talking about it, I was like, you know, that could be fun. Yeah, you never know. You never know. It might have been under my, my nose the whole time. Would you, you, know? you do, right, that what I was happens. talking about? I'm looking for the one. Maybe she's right here. Were you guys? Were you guys friends? Oh my god, the way he has his arm wrapped around her and he's rubbing her shoulder. Hmm. Do you think they're together? I know Tana talks about like all getting with other ones and they're they're just like very close. And by the way, men and women can be very close without it ever being romantic. Um but I just think they're very good together. And by the way, men and women, men man, woman woman anyone any 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 can be together and it doesn't have to be romantic and a blah blah blah, right? Um, but I think that they've just, uh, work so well, but maybe they work too well that if they were dating, they would hate each other. That era? The, like, um, 2018 era? No, we hated each other. We would <laughs> 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 you know, I don't know if crossing paths ever. I don't remember seeing you in the same room. I'm not kidding. Like, no. Like, I never we realized we how talk. funny she was until we did the barbershop together. And I was like, oh, shit, this girl could really take jokes, dish them back. Like, you know, She's but the both of you, it's like, it's almost scary to see a woman that's like yeah, so God, outspoken and, and powerful he, and smart and sharp. I know? think he thought all women were just like in the kitchen yeah, until he was right. right. really scary. Or just thing. like, like, you know, a lot of the ones, not, a lot of influencers who rely, like you said, on other people and stuff like that. And I feel like with Tana, like you've always been like the power blazer, like with you and Jake, with anybody, it's always been Tana's the star. And then like these other people are kind of like, I'm leeching off her. <laughs> yeah, I'm just leeching off her. Well, no, you guys are a good duo. At the end of the day, I think it's mutually beneficial. You can set up a camera, you two can set up a camera and have the same amount of views as I was just actually thinking to myself though like it is like like David could have never done like a mukbang <laughs> like yeah. no, we had a mukbang and no one cared everyone was <laughs> like no or his podcast I was like they would be like 38 minutes long I'm like why do you have a podcast if you're only talking for 30 minutes they would do it as quick as possible they're just like they were just trying to like get you it gotta done edit and, out all the fake shit exactly you know? yeah, which is a true. lot that's why his vlogs like four minutes 20 seconds but I was just like I think with you guys it's like good chemistry too you know because it's like that makes a difference like Tana is the best guest on any podcast she's on mm. million you're so views sweet. no you're so entertaining you're so nice and people me. love you but you guys together because I've seen you with other like guys and I like forget their names don't know and then like yeah, me too <laughs> 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 I was watching Dancing with Were you at Dancing with Stars last night? I was supposed to go. I was there. Yeah, I, no, I was there. You were not That's my first lie of the podcast. Okay, no, I wasn't there. He bailed. You were Listen, supposed to go. I, so we've been we'll having some trouble. Lately, we've been yeah. having a lot of trouble lately. My life is in shambles. You know the movie Fight Club? You do, of course, right? Of course, right? yes. See? All right. I, I want to... I'm pretty sure... Let me quickly look up something. Because I saw that people were letting me know of... Let me see if this is true or false. Okay. I'm figuring out if something's true or false. Give me a moment. Ah, it is true. Okay. 
So I've typed in the keyword Natalie because I saw the people on TikTok were saying they talked about Natalie. So let me, let me see. Let's see what they say about Natalie. Yeah. You know? And I made a video saying like, yeah, I realized, you know, that, that, you know, they knew about this and I don't like that. I don't fuck with that. Like that's, you know, now I love being able to search up words on YouTube. Love it. Decision, you know, Natalie know. is David Dobrik's like lap dog. That I'll probably take a step back. And then Natalie called me the next day. She's like, David, sir, your video, he's not going to like that. You fucking oh delusional. God, you what? are insane. You, you know, Jelaine? Yes. You know? <laughs> no, I, that's a whole other thing. My issue with Natalie, people are like, why do you hate her so much? And I'm like, oh, she is. She's like, Ron, Ron. Yeah, I, I didn't like, talk really? to any of them. When the documentary came up, I would get a call 10 times a day because they would want to come edit it. They want to come see the cut before it went out. You know? So oh, wait, we need this to line up with the Kate. Like, if anything comes out, you know, like we need manipulation and tech. Like, I can't wait. I'm telling you, Johnny Depp Amber. Wait, so Natalie was trying to like edit all of what Jeff was putting out there as well so that it matched up with the story of David, what David was putting out there? Oh my God, Natalie, pick yourself up, queen. Holy shit, that is so fucking damning. Oh my God. For heard part two, it's... Do you think it'll go to trial? I hope. I you would want love it to. for it to, yeah. Which is yeah. like, usually, like, anyone who would do it for clout or whatever, which is not, you should get paid and compensated for your whatever, usually would just want a settlement. But the fact that you, like, want to go to have trial and have this all come out, like, I think that says, like, a lot about your, like, story. I agree. Just yeah, because I mean? I, I, I'm not going to lie, it does piss me off when I see comments of people who don't know shit, but you can't let that really get to you. You know, like, people will say stuff that I'll read and I'm like, fucking, I wish I could just come out right now. But, yeah. you know, you just got to eat it and wait for the time. Patience. Well, yours is just such a crazy story. Like, it, to me, it's the most mind blowing when I was watching your documentary and you're there just with your eyes covered in the hospital and stuff like that. I'm just like, how? Like, how did this just, like, it became, like, another, like, cancel thing and then it was just like that's it we're over it you know what i mean i'm just like this is such a serious thing like affected your whole life yeah 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 and then uh afterwards like with the whole thing that you're talking about like how did it go were you guys still friends and all that like i didn't want to have to cut everyone off you know but he made it like that yeah like, I, and why did he get cut off he did nothing wrong nick there he wanted jonah to be there for the episode so i was like you know, it shouldn't be an issue you know like this was after uh tmz put it out that you know now we're fighting out in court and Jonah was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Cool. And then I get a call back an hour later, and he's like, nah, Dave said. Okay. Not, not Tana. She blows the smoke towards Trisha and then goes. <laughs> and I was just, like, really hurt by that because I love that kid. You know, I love his family. I really looked at him as a, a yeah. real friend. You know, like, mm -hmm. he moved into my old apartment. We lived next door to each other. We would cook food together. If I was going through something, he'd bake me cookies. You know, like, yeah. we had a real friendship. And to hear that, I was like, okay, that's how this game is. I just got to learn to take my emotions out of this and just find real people to hang out with and just fucking get over it. But, you know, those are people, not just friends in real life, they're my content people. Like, I film with them. So now I got to rebuild everything. Do I even want to do social media anymore? Like, do it I want makes you not want to when you leave such a no. big dynamic like that. Because I got hate that whole year, just constant, like, yeah. one thing after the other for, for one. You, and I was with someone before that, you know what I mean? I was with Shane. I was with all these people. So I'm just like, why are people associating me with this, like, random, like, young kids that I, like, barely knew for, like, a year? You know? It was yeah. so weird. Yeah. It is crazy that, like, your whole career, like, one thing like that can happen and, like, all that hate. It's yeah, like, it is crazy. <laughs> but I've survived enough where I've like partnered up with people where it's like up and then down and up and down. And I'm just like, okay, like I'm so I like just Trish because I'm like, you know what? I mean, my last one went to shit too with Colleen. I'm just like, let me not collab with anyone anymore. It always just goes to shit. Just I Trish it was is men. such a flex because it's all you need. Do. Like, you know what? Just Trish is such. Like, it's exactly what you need. You don't need a co host. Oh, thank like, you. Can I ask just like a selfish question? Like, what would you and Colleen even have podcasted about? Like, what did you guys <laughs> talk? I think that's such a good point about, you know, any podcast Trisha Paytas has done with people, you know, normally has turned to shit. It's like being, you know, almost like a joke on the internet. But Trisha's first real successful podcast is when she's putting all those people behind her and she's doing like just Trish. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Fair enough. C-section scars. I think yeah. that's all we talked about every episode, which is like giving birth. And I mean, it's like interesting, I guess, to a certain degree. But that's all we talked about every episode because you yeah. don't talk about like drama or stuff like that. But I was just like, okay. I yeah. don't know. Honestly, I was just like wanting to podcast again. And I kind of partnered yeah. with her because she had a podcast. So I was like, I didn't know how to get out of reads. I mean, now I figured it out, but I didn't know at the time. So I was like, yeah. maybe I'll partner with her, you know. And that's why we offered to build a set in our house, do all this stuff, you know, to make it work. Because um, I thought, oh, she'll get the ad reads. But then the end of the day, she didn't. She's like, well, I don't want to like risk like losing my ad reads because you're problematic. And I was just like, okay. So we just didn't have that. Ironic. Colleen told Trisha that she doesn't want to help her get ads on their podcast because she doesn't want to risk losing her own. Look at that. Who is the sponsors now? And I try to get it for us. And then we got the deal. Like and then you weren't keeping any part of her career alive. Like that's so wild. Like other than like six year olds who right. I don't know. Well, I didn't, I just didn't know. I wasn't friends with her like that either. So I just didn't know clearly this, the severity. I just knew nothing about her. I never collabed with her as well. Yeah. I know like yeah. nothing, but um, I missed podcasting. Cause like, you know, 
I, I just been doing yeah. it for a couple of years. And podcasting is great. It's so fun. It's fun. I, I feel it's like best. it's like the new wave. I try to ro- like ride these waves. Like vlogging was a big thing, but no one vlog. I love vlogging. But yeah. No one vlogs anymore. Me too. I'll always like love it and just like want to vlog, too. but it's not the main. I just stop. Anymore. I'm like, no one's watching these. You know, what I, I mean? watch. I watch them all. <laughs> You're one of my ten thousand viewers, which is fine. Ten thousand is a lot. I honestly, I'll take it. Just but. queen of the no edit. I was telling him in the car, like, just the it's, it's so. Re- all right, we'll kind of leave it there. So, I'm so happy for Jeff that this is going to court and I really hope for him that this does go to trial because if this goes to trial everything that David is trying to hide will be put out there and I think that that's very important and it's always justice for Jeff yep um now furthermore as well to know that Natalie was so intertwinedly working to try curate this image of what Jeff was putting out there, what David was putting out there. Meanwhile, Jeff is high every day on drugs after surgery, and they're using that to their advantage. It's like just the most evil, like corrupt, like nasty, evil people you've ever met in your entire life. I just, I don't know how how you can be so fucked up like that. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me.